Jeez, stalled her right there. Had her in second gear. And... Well, that's the way you start it off with a vlog. You stall your bike right in front of everybody. <laughs> hey, this is Dark Knight. Um, coming with you. I am finally going to do a third review of the sports handlebars here that I got. Um, I did the first two. I uh, talked about, you know, kind of the pros and cons with it. Um, and just wanted to let, you know, people who were on the edge about buying these, if they were really, if they really wanted to buy them. So, just let me make this turn. So, yeah, pretty much my ultimate decision is, um, I like them. I, I love them. I wouldn't have gone another way with it. I'm glad I did it. This is a bike that I plan on keeping for, you know, 10 years minimum. Um, probably going to go longer with it. So it's definitely, it was a good choice for me to pick this bike and put the handlebars on it. You know, a lot of people ask me, why didn't you just go sports bike if, if all that really mattered was the handlebars? Well, at the time when I was getting the bike, I was, I was kind of young and didn't know much about motorcycles. You know, I know a little bit more now. Um, granted, now if I could do it all over again, I would probably just go with a straight sports bike. Um, it would have been, you know, I'd have been happier. I'm still happy. This is an awesome bike. This is a, I started off on a 650 KLR, but then I went to this one. This is an awesome starter for sports bikes. I mean, this the gearing ratio is flipped upside down. So um, it's got low, you know, the power band kicks in earlier so you can, so it's nicer for town riding. I've never ridden on a sports bike, but um, a lot of people will say that this is just lower gearings, nicer riding on this. I don't know personally, so don't hate me on that comment if I'm wrong. Uh, I know a lot of guys that just, they ride nothing but sports bikes and they love them too, so. But next upgrade will be a ZX6R or uh, ZX10R or, you know, something R6. But for now, this, this bike is, is great. Um, decent on gas. Um, you don't, uh, you know, you're not killing it. And uh, it goes, you know, quick. It's got a lot of power. I can have someone else ride with me and I can just go whipping if I want to. Um, quick off the line, you know, it's pretty good. So, and to just get a sports bike, this was cheaper anyways, just to put the handlebars on it. Uh, it's, it's still not the same, but it, uh, it was cheaper than just spending, you know. This was, uh, I think when I got it, was about 7400 7, So to buy, a, you know, what are, what are 600s now, 600 sports bikes, they're like, I think when I got this, they were like 9000 So now they're like 10000 So, I mean, it, it was cheaper. But... Uh, in terms of the feelings about it, it's it's pretty much the same. Uh, I like it, not of the winds. The maneuverability, a lot of people were worried about um, being able to maneuver the bike because um, when you turn it, it kind of it kind of cuts your uh, how should I say, it? cuts your mobility down, your range, your radius of turn. Um, really, it's not actually not that big of a deal. I can still, as you can saw from the video that that I just did with the um, the test course that you can turn it no problem so I was turning and that was had the first time that I was actually attempting to do it too so I actually thought it was pretty good you can turn pretty sharp on this bike um, it does kind of like garage space if you're really trying to turn it on the dime. It kind of does stink that way. It doesn't um, turn as sharp. But um, other than that, though, it's pretty good. Uh, wind resistance keeps me out of the wind sometime today.
kicks me out of the wind. You know, I'm a little, like four inches lower, so that I'm a taller guy. You know, I'm like six one, six two, so pushes that wind right over my head, which is nice for longer rides. Um, it's not it's not terribly um, back restraining. A lot of people are afraid that like once you go forward, you're gonna they're gonna be like, oh my back, oh my arms, I can't keep myself up. With these handlebars, I mean the four inches, it feels like a big difference, but it's not. You know, I don't I don't feel like I'm like, oh my back, I can't ride for much more than an hour, sort of thing. You know, I feel like I could actually ride longer with this. Um, turning seems to be easier because it feels like the bikes the bikes more under underneath me. I guess is the correct. I don't know if that's the correct way of putting it. Before when I was sitting, it felt like. Um, the bike was just all underneath my rear end and I was trying to turn with just my my legs and stuff but now when the it's it's forward um, the bike seems more balanced between my arms and my legs so when I make a turn I can lean into it a little bit harder and I can make the turn just a little bit sharper and I feel like I have um, I feel like I have a little more control over the bike um, what else? Uh, the hand vibrations, that's still kind of there. Some days it really vibrates, and it vibrates like crap right out of my right hand, and some days, like today, it's not even bothering me. Um, I did get new gloves. I thought maybe that would help solve the problem, and it did for, like, the first couple days, but then, like, the third day, it just started vibrating, and, uh, my arm went numb. Uh, so I don't know what that, that issue is. Um... But other than those things, I mean, it's it's actually not that bad of, um, of a purchase. I actually am really happy with it. So, you know, if I, I would highly recommend anyone with a 650, Kawasaki 650R, that really is thinking about getting these handlebars, I say, I say do it. Um, if you know how to put them on yourself, even better because uh, it'll save you money. Um, but if you don't know how to put them on, I just went right down to the, the, the motorcycle store that I got my bike from, made an appointment, had them throw it on for me. It only took them about an hour. Um, what I told the guy was, is I was like, well, how, how long would you, uh, how long do you estimate this to be? Because they charge about uh, 60 an hour. And I, was, I didn't really want to spend something that because I knew that they're professional, so it only should take them like an hour, hour and a half at most. So I was like, "How long do you think it should be?" And he said, "Well, how about this? I'll charge you for an hour, and if it goes more than an hour, or I'll charge you for an hour and a half," is what he said. If it goes over an hour and a half, you only have to pay the hour and a half fee, and if it goes less than an hour and a half, I'll take off the difference. So I ended up getting there. I had to drive it down, leave it, come back the next day. And then it was done because they wanted to get me in early. They get over flooded, and uh, it only took them an hour. He only charged me for an hour, and I got complimentary checks. You know, like they just checked everything on my bike. I guess a five-minute check, and uh, so yeah, it was great. Uh, it worked out good. So I say, anyone that wants to do it, I say go for it. Uh, great investment for me, at least. Um, I'm not going to get too carried away with this bike. I did a couple other things on it. Like, uh, I took the, the mirrors off. That was another big thing that I liked, and I put the bar and mirrors on. That's another thing I would say people should do. It makes the bike just look so much faster, but some people aren't, you know, willing to, don't want to invest the time and money. And the hardest thing I had was finding block-off plates for these things. I could not find any to save my life, and I finally was just just asked, I went up to the store and he's like, well, how about we try this and if they don't work, we'll send them back. Uh, they sh I would think they would work, but he said, I'm not 100% sure. It's not a very common bike that people do this to. And so we tried it and it worked and you know what, it benefited. Um, I could try to, if anybody else wants to, I could try to find the ones that I got. Um, I think I'll be able to find them. I think they had them right on Motorcycle Superstore. They just don't have them listed for the 2000 in my year. But, so, you know, let me know if you guys have any other questions. This will probably be the last uh, review I do of 
these handlebars unless you guys want another one but this is kind of like to sum it all up so uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, leave a comment I'll get back to you and uh, just ride safe and uh, have a good summer everybody peace oh gravel gotta watch out for that gravel